Welcome to Electron Line. Now let's take a look at an improper integral that may not be obvious right off the bat when you look at it. For example, here we have the integral of dx over x minus 1 and the limits are from, one, from 0 to 5. But then right away we should realize that at x equals 1, this function is not defined, so the function is not defined for a value in between the lower and upper limit. So what we cannot do is ignore that and assume that, yes, we can simply go ahead and integrate. So 1 over x minus 1 integrated is the natural log of x minus 1. Evaluate it between the two limits and come up with an answer because that would not be correct. The reason, of course, is that 1 over x minus 1 is not defined at x equals 1. So instead, what we have to do is we have to break it up into two integrals. So we have our first integral from 0 to 1, and we're going to write it as a limit. The limit as t approaches 1 from below, going from 0 to 1, of dx divided by x minus 1, plus the limit as t approaches 1 from above, because we go from 1 to 5, we're going to integrate dx over x minus 1. And what we're going to do first is let's take a look at this term right here. We're going to go ahead and integrate that, plug in the limit t, and then allow t to go to 1 to see what happens. So when we do that, we get the following. This will be the limit as t approaches 1 from below. And when we integrate that, we get the natural log of x minus 1 evaluated from 0 to t. So that's still the limit as t approaches 1 from below of this quantity right here. So that would be equal to the natural log of, and let's see here, let's put parentheses around it because first we're going to plug in the upper limit of t minus 1 and subtract from that when we plug in the lower limit, that's going to be the natural log of 0 minus 1, like this. And now I can go ahead and allow t to go to 1 so we can see what happens. So this is equal to the natural log of when t goes equal to 1, we get the natural log of 1 minus 1 minus the natural log of, and here we can just keep it like that, that would be of 1 because the absolute value of negative 1 is equal to 1. And of course the natural log of 1 is equal to 0, so this term goes to 0, but over here this term becomes equal to the natural log of 0. And the natural log of 0 is not defined, that is infinite, so, therefore, this is the same as saying infinity, it's not defined. So, if this term is not defined, then it even doesn't matter what this term is not defined, this whole integral will not converge, it will diverge. And that's how we find that. So, again, be careful when the, when the function is not defined anywhere in between the range going from the lower to the upper limit, then we cannot just simply solve it like that. We have to split it up into two integrals, and each integral must converge for the whole integral to converge. And that's how it's done.